What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode three, or uh, I guess episode two technically, because I started at zero, um, of this uh, game development log. Um, today, wow, so the reception on the past few uh, videos of the series has been really great. And um, yeah, I, I, the support is just amazing, and I think it's really awesome to, to see you guys really engage and enjoy the, the game that I'm making, because I'm having a lot of fun making it. Um, and yeah, quite a few uh, new things this week. Um, mostly smaller, like feature-based stuff, and a lot more, you know, um, it, it's not as dramatic as the first video to the second video for sure, but I added some more interesting things. Things are a lot, like, like every single video I'm putting out right now, things are just a little bit smoother, work a little bit better, you know, slowly improving the code and all that. Uh, right off the bat, I just want to show off, I'm using Emacs right now. Uh, and if, uh, you know, people that are, you know, familiar with my channel know that I'm a Vim user. Um, so I'm using uh, Emacs with Evil Mode. And I've been trying it out, and I've actually switched to Emacs several times in the past using Evil Mode, which, if you don't know, is an emu a Vim emulation layer on top of Emacs. But um, this time it kind of is sticking, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I think I'm starting to understand how to actually use Emacs effectively and all that. Anyway, all right, let's launch the game right now. Sorry, I just cut so I can get rid of some spoilers. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is, uh, oh, who's this guy? Hey, what's up? Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, okay. So this, uh, people that are veterans of my channel know that um, this guy, his name's Murphy. Um, and uh, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that um, he's a character from the very first game that I actually uh, released for Android. Um, called Murph in Space, and it's just about this alien that, here, I'll, I'll show some footage. It's about this alien that just, like, flies through space, and, uh, you know, this is an old version that I'm showing you of the game, but it was kind of fun, it was really fun to make, and, um, I really liked the character's design, and I thought he would be a good character to be kind of like the NPC, right? So there's gonna be, like, this tribe of Murphys, and, uh, you know, you're gonna have to befriend them, and, um, you know, they'll, they'll I, I want to create some gameplay where if you befriend them by doing quests and stuff throughout the game, uh, you'll, uh, they'll give you items, um, they're gonna be the shopkeepers, they're gonna be, you know, uh, just running around and, and stuff like that, and when you befriend them, they won't be as scared of you. Um, I made it so that you can knock them over, they're a little bit, uh, top-heavy, you know, things, that's gonna change, it's only, they're only gonna knock over maybe once in a while, and I kinda want it to be something funny that, you know, the player discovers on their own. But, uh, another thing, um, we have an inventory system now. So, uh, I mean, we've always kinda had an inventory system, but there's no way to manage it or view it. Um, now you can uh, I, you can uh, choose which uh, weapon you want. Um, you'll put it. You can put it in the slot. If it's in this slot, it's currently equipped, and that's the one that you'll be using to shoot and all that. Um, and I'll change that in the future so there's a little bit of a better UI. This panel over here is going to give some information on the gun. You know, attack, damage, maybe some modifiers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is, uh, well, for one, there um, it, things that have the um, interaction component now will show this little bubble. This bubble will pop up and um, kind of indicate, you know, which. Uh, actually, let me see if I can show you with a. Uh, let me see if I can find a chest. Um, here, down here. Yeah, here. All right. So if I go over this chest here, let me climb up this ladder. And, um, if I go up to this chest, you'll see that there's a uh, you know button indicator that says you know I need it click the B button, which of course will be on the controller. I still need to implement it so that it shows a keyboard command, but um, anyway, if I go back up here, you'll notice that there's this door, and I can't pass it, and it's uh, signaling that I need a key card. So if I grab the key card, you'll see up here I now have one key card, and uh, now when I go up to the door, it's gonna show a B. If I click it, the door will open, and I can pass through. So uh, now there are locked rooms, and let me see if I can respawn and find one for you guys. Uh, they're not super rare, but I'm having a hard time seeing them. All right, so down here, and it actually looks a little bit here. Let me climb the ladder up here. Um, it actually looks a little bit broken, like the door placement. That's actually the first time I've seen the door fail like that. So that's a little bit weird. But anyway, uh, you'll see that there's gonna be some locked rooms, and these locked rooms are gonna have the best loot. For some reason, there's a bug in the game where the key card spawns inside the room, even though I told it not to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure that out by the next episode, and hopefully it'll 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 work and all that. But hopefully I can add some interesting stuff into these rooms, and uh, you know this is one of the ways that it's gonna make the uh, the player um, it's gonna make the player kind of explore a little bit more because they're gonna want to find these key cards, which is you know a, a good excuse for the player to you know look around and and all that. Uh, 
Another thing that I added, you'll see these little um, yellow these yellow squares, and if I refresh a few times, you'll notice it uh, here. You know, in this in this room and all that. Um, what this is, it, it just indicates that. Uh, um, well, basically, I changed the way that items spawn throughout the level, and it's a lot better now. Um, before, you'll notice that uh, items were spawning outside the map, and things were glitching, and it was really bad. But now that uh, now I made it, I added. You know, I, I wrote an algorithm to to find um, free spaces and all that. And everything that has a yellow square is basically um, zones that uh, I'll place special items and stuff like that. So, you know, places that are a little bit more out of the way. So, like, here you have to climb up a ladder. I'm going to add more of these. I'm going to make it so that you can, um, you know, that you can climb. Uh, there, there, like, maybe there's one on top of this little thing right here and that you have to climb a ladder or something. You know, just to add some more special items to in harder to, re to reach places and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, there's a key card that spawned right here, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I think that's just about all that I've actually done in the code, or that I've uh, done that I have to show you, really. The rest of the stuff has just been, um, you know, fixing things in the code. You know, it, it's a lot cleaner now, like always, you know, um, a lot smarter, better done. Uh, you know, I'm just constantly refactoring, moving parts, places, and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, you know, kind of a shorter episode. I hope you guys enjoyed um, today. You know, I, I'll be back, you know, next week, hopefully. You know, I'm going to try to get on a better schedule, you know. Um, hopefully next week I can have a little bit more to show you. And, uh, and yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like this is a, a good point in the, uh, in the code base and in time when I can start actually adding some more content like locked doors and, you know. Oh, actually, one thing, that, one thing I want to show you before I go. Um, and I didn't, you know, I wasn't really planning on showing you this, but I feel like, you know, it's just a good idea to do it. Um, you'll notice uh, over here, oh shoot, there's a locked door. But you'll notice over here there's a extra room. And this room normally um, is, a, this, this room is a special room and it's going to be a shop at some point. I'm still working out some details on how to, you know, actually make a door that gets through. And uh, so you can actually enter the shop. I need to double check to make sure that, you know, um, these sh sh uh, these uh, shops aren't impossible to reach because that would kind of break the break the game for for sure. But yeah, these uh, the shops spawn I believe every five yeah every five um, levels you'll have another shop. So but yeah you know that's just one one extra thing that I still need to work on for next week. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.